Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion bringing you guys another video. Before we start the tip video on how to build like a PC person on console, guys, I want to thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving me recently. If you guys enjoyed that giveaway that I did yesterday, please give this video a thumbs up. I might give another, do another giveaway, including some more starter pack giveaways. Had a huge, massive 11,000 V-Bug giveaway, and today we're announcing the winner. So if I see your names at the end of the video, make sure to go to your latest video and check the comments because I commented on one of your video letting you know that you won but with that being said let's get right into the video So you need help on learning how to build quick on console. I know a lot of us watch these big streamers like Myth or Ninja and they all build extremely fast and they make it look easy. That's because on PC they have things called keybinds so they can easily get to what they want to by pushing one button. Now on Xbox or PlayStation we have to push the button two or three times in order to get to the certain material or stairs that we want. So in today's video that's exactly what I'm going to teach you is how to build fast as fast as possible on console compared to PC. Now now starting off, we're going to go into the settings. You guys, your sensitivity has to be higher. If you want to build quick or anything like that, the higher sensitivity you have, the quicker you're going to be able to turn and place different objects on the floor. Now I know a lot of people like playing on a lower sensitivity. This is good for aiming down sights and shooting your weapons and stuff like that. But when it comes to building, this isn't that good. And the reason this is, is because when you tr try to spin around and build a full one by one wall around you, your sensitivity is so slow to the point where you can get shot by the time you put up a wall. But if you're playing on a high sensitivity like 9-9, nine, nine, you're going to be able to spin instantly and build a full circle wall around you as fast as possible like Myth does. Now keep in mind, when you do raise your sensitivity, it's going to be a lot harder to hit your shots, so I found a perfect balance right at 7-7. Seven, seven. Now with that being said, everything else doesn't really matter when it comes to building except for a few things. But before we cover those few things, let me show you an example of how the sensitivity works. So as you guys can see in this clip, 4-4 sensitivity has a 1-1. 0.09 time limit to build a one by one. 77 sensitivity is a lot quicker with only a 0.20 time limit now the 99 sensitivity is even faster by 0.10 you guys that's how much quicker it is to build a full circle around you and just raising your sensitivity so as you can see just by simply raising your sensitivity you're going to be able to build a lot faster guys the numbers do not lie speaking of numbers this is another thing that a lot of people know about because of a youtuber named post box pat awesome guy he made a tip video on how to build stairs as quick as possible and i'm going to cover that tip in this video now the thing about pc is they have key so instead of having to push circle, R1, R1, so you're pushing like three or four buttons just to get to your stairs, all they have to do is push it one time. They push one key and it gets them automatically to their stairs. Guys, this is very important. It gives you those split seconds of time where you're outbuilding quicker than the person on the other side. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little tick that Postbox Pat came up with that is a lot better. So basically, if you go to your pyramid and you're on your pyramid, the second you're on your pyramid, edit it out to the back two steps and it builds you a stairs. Then you push circle again and it automatically sets it. So anytime you go to your pyramid, it's gonna be automatically preset to these stairs. Now, yes, I know that these stairs look a lot different than these stairs. But the thing is, is these stairs take a little bit longer to open up than these stairs. And I'm gonna show you guys an example right now. Dang, that was pretty freaking quick, you guys. But now, what a lot of PC people is they like to add a wall behind the stairs so that way it has protection. And that looks something like this. They put up a wall first, and then they add the stairs. This way, they have double the protection. Now, I'm going to show you guys real quick how long it takes with different methods. Damn, that's a little bit faster, but that split second is all you need to be able to build faster than the other person. Now, I'm going to show it to you guys again in slow motion so you guys can see exactly how much quicker it is. So 
So as you can see, it does give you that split second advantage on the other person. Now I know it doesn't sound like much, but I promise you it is a lot when it comes to building. Because in my opinion, you can always be good at this game as long as you have a gunshot, but what makes people greater than others is their building skill and technique. And that's why I wanted to show you guys that because it does take some time to practice to get used to it, but the second you get used to it, I promise you, you're going to be a lot faster of a builder. Now being able to build quick on console isn't just the only thing you need to learn. You you need to have knowledge you need to be smart and know exactly what type of builds you need at the right moments and that's what this next part of this video is going to cover for you guys next now when it comes to rushing somebody that has the high ground advantage on you you need to be able to stay off the floor and exactly in this gameplay right here i'm not touching the ground at all i'm building flat platforms and i'm building stairs to get up and above the person the reason you want to get above the person is one that way they're not looking down at you shooting at you and you can look down at them in this game that is a huge thing to talk about now the thing about building in this game is you cannot build anything diagonal everything is a square like so you're going to be able to if you want to make a turn or something like that all you have to do is put a flat platform and then build stairs right next to it just like I did right there this is why it's a good thing to have it on combat pro so that way you can switch from stairs to the flat platform in an instant second as you can see I have stairs I'm checking the person to see how high I have to go I just push L1 once R2 and it places it so push R1 again and you switch to your stairs as quick as possible possible if you're playing on standard you're gonna have to push triangle a few times just to rotate throughout all these things now remember how I told you having the high ground advantage is a good thing this is a perfect example of why having the high ground is a perfect idea now me and Bricky decided to 1v1 in this match as you guys can see he's trying to get high ground advantage he's trying to catch up to me but I'm building above him I'm building all around so he cannot get up here at the level that I'm at the reason I'm doing this is so that way I'm always looking down all I did was sound to hear where he was and then I pushed him at as I was sound whoring. Now, as you can see, he got up. My first instinct is get up above him, build my walls to protect myself, and just constantly stay above him. I always want to stay above the other person. This is because when you're looking down at somebody, you know where they are. Now, when someone's looking up at you, they don't know exactly where you can be at. It's all about having control of the fight. If you're above the person, you have control. You're the one determining what happens next. So, as you can see, I'm pushing up again because he was down below. I didn't want him to end up juking me out and getting somewhere else. So, I decided to reset. Let me get above him again and just sound whore. And as you can see, all I'm doing is just lighting him up from above now right here I decided to block him off get above him as well and then shoot him from above again this is all about having the advantage the high ground advantage you control the whole fight now the next thing I want to talk to you guys about that a lot of people make the mistake of doing is they don't build when they're in front of somebody or a team of five or something like that what they decide to do is they think they can outgun every single person but this is not true you can put a few bullets into somebody but the second you put those few bullets into them the whole team's gonna look at you and start lighting you up so you need to be able to build and instantly like in this example right here. Right there, after I knocked their teammate and I saw the other teammate start to look at me, the first thing I did was build a wall because I'm not going to sit there and try and gun him down because he already has his sight lined up at me. So I'm going to put up a wall of protection and rush him. Now, when you're rushing somebody, you want to put up the stairs and a wall for double protection. This is because if somebody starts shooting your stairs, they're going to be able to knock you down instantly. But if you can put up a stair and wall on console, it's going to be amazing. A lot of PC people do this, but console people don't do this enough. If you don't know what what I meant by that it's putting up the stair switching to the wall putting up a stair switching to the wall as you're running now you have enough time to do this because your character does not run that fast so while you're running full sprint straight forward you can easily push r1 r1 twice r2 r1 r1 twice r2 it just takes a lot of practice you guys but you know the saying practice makes perfect now for the last thing that I want to talk to you guys is what kind of button layout do you want to have on a controller now there has been a lot of debate talking about is quick build Builder better than combat pro now standard is definitely the worst when it comes to building fast and the reason this is is I'll show you guys right now if I apply standard the second I'm on a wall and I want to switch to stairs I have to push triangle twice and now from stairs to get to a flat platform I have to push it one two three times just to get to a platform now this is when you're trying to rush somebody and you put a flat platform or a stair stair and then you try to go to a flat you have to push it all these times just to get to a flat and it takes a lot of time now I know a lot of people can do it fast you can but statistically talking it's a lot quicker to do it on combat pro now the reason this is is I'll show you guys right now watch how much quicker this is I put a stair stair push L1 once flat flat stair 
flat. It's that easy. I know you can do it on combat or standard, but the thing about standard is it does take a lot more button pushing, and when you're pushing a lot of buttons more, you're gonna tend to forget and mess things up. Now, the last one that I wanna cover is Quick Build. A lot of people think this is a lot better because it, the name is Quick Builder, but that's not true. The only thing that's different about this is this is good with building because one, you can rotate your material with R3, so you never take your fingers off your triggers, but the thing is, is Quick Builder does, the, or Combat Pro does the same thing. The only thing that has changed is your L3 button, and that's to change materials, but because of the new settings, you guys have auto material change and this changes your material automatically so even if you run out of material you don't have to cycle through it to find material that you need because it'll automatically switch to the next material so quick builder is not a good thing just because of that reason combat pro is a little bit better because when you're aiming down sight you can crouch with r3 so it's kind of like call of duty drop shots it helps out with your shot and everything like that but in my opinion all together i think combat pro is the best settings for the game since we're still covering settings another thing i want to show you guys is reset building choice needs to be on and turbo building needs to be on guys what this basically is turbo building allows you to not have to tap r2 every single time you want to play something so if you're building a four wall aka a one by one you have to tap once tap twice tap three times tap four times instead of doing that because that takes some time all you have to do is hold r2 and spin and as you guys can see, that's the fastest way to do it. So that way you're not tapping your button as many times. And again, like I was saying, the less you're tapping the buttons on your controller, the better chance you have of not making a mistake. And now with that being said, guys, we've made it to the end of the video of part one. If you guys really do want a part two on how to build faster and better on console compared to PC, give this video a thumbs up, guys. The more likes we get, the more I know that you guys actually like this content again the support you guys have been giving me is insane if you guys do want to follow me on twitter i do a lot of giveaways over on twitter just follow me on twitter it's linked in the description below and now it's time to announce the giveaways of the free v bucks you guys this one has been a massive it's a hundred dollar giveaway that i'm giving to five people and the winners are drum roll please almighty shade Aaron Rat and Creations YT, Famous Clutch Gaming, and Country Gamer 65 Gaming. Guys, congratulations. Hit me up on Twitter. I already have your guys' Twitters and stuff like that. So just check your messages or your comments on the video and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to do another giveaway again, let me know down in the comments below. I will always do giveaways, but you guys got to let me know how bad do you want it. But I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.